I actually got this, if I had to guess, maybe like nine months to a year before I ever thought about creating Lee's Refinery. Either your customer is going to eat that cost or you're going to eat that cost. When I whip out the tripod, the ring light is being whipped out with it and vice versa. Welcome or welcome back to Lee's Refinery's YouTube channel. First things first, before getting started, I just want to say that I am using a camera that I have not used in a long time. The footage may look different than my other videos. It may be a little... I don't know. I'm still adjusting to the settings and how the lighting is gonna look on here. I don't know if I'm too bright. I'm not sure. If that's an issue, it's gonna be cleared up within the next couple of videos. I'm just getting used to this camera. So I wanted to say that before anything else. Anywho, onto the more important things. Welcome or welcome back. If you don't know, Lee's Refinery is a North Carolina based small business primarily operated online with a mission of prioritizing and encouraging the circulation of existing materials. Currently, we accomplish that by curating predominantly secondhand apparel, shoes, toys, trinkets, and things of that nature, as well as exercising operational processes that align with that philosophy. But one of the reasons this channel exists is to demonstrate how we accomplish that in other ways and how we'll implement that in other ways within the business as well. Moving on to to today's video i'm going to be going over five things my small business cannot live without this video is inspired by gq's 10 essential series where celebrities talk about 10 things they can't live without and this can range from a wide range of things some people talk about video games others talk about food personal hygiene items skincare cologne perfume things of that nature and they give a little backstory on why they can't live without it so i wanted to put my own spin on it make it small business and i'm only doing five in this video so let's go ahead and get started so item number one is my bible so this is my bible cover actually it says the quieter you are the more you can hear god but my actual bible is zipped up in here it look a little worn on the outside it looks a little you know this is the only Bible I've ever had. I think you can see it. It has my name transcribed on the bottom. Is that the right? I don't think I said that right. It's not transcribed. I don't know what this what this is called, but they printed my name on the bottom. This Bible was given to me during a dedication ceremony at the church I grew up in in 2007. It's for so many reasons, way more than I could ever list in the entirety in this video. I struggle with a lot of different things, as does everyone, but lately it's just been time management, discipline, consistency. I would say those three are the big three for me right now, among some other things like everybody else, but those have been some things that I've really, really been trying to work on. And when I get down, when I start feeling how I be feeling, I forget that I can do all things through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A lot of it has to do with the mind, with the brain. And when my mind isn't in check, everything else goes out the window. So maintaining knowledge of the Bible, what the Word is telling me, maintaining my relationship, maintaining and improving my relationship with God really helps me in more ways than I can even explain. In my life, in business, they're interlocked uh, to me. In certain ways, they are. Can't live without it. Can't leave without it, no 21. Do you get that reference? Can't leave without it. Number two is a postal scale. You can see my greasy little fingers have been on this, but this isn't the part that you waste of. You open this thing up and you weigh it on here. This is the brand Accutech, A-C-C-U-T-E, C K it goes up to 50 pounds. A postal scale is simply a scale specifically designed to weigh materials for mailing purposes. Without this, shipping costs would essentially be a guessing game and or way more time and money would be spent at a post office. If you don't know an accurate weight, either your customer is going to eat that cost or you're going to eat that cost. It just depends on how your how your stuff is set up. Fun fact about this postal scale, I actually got this if i had to guess maybe like nine months to a year before i ever thought 
about creating Lee's Refinery. That's a story for a different day if I ever get into it, but I did not get this when I was setting up Lee's Refinery and birthing a business. I'm so glad I did. It's one of the best investments. I'm so happy that I got this. So our third essential is free slash low cost resources and material. This isn't all the same type of thing. It's not all a physical thing that I can show you. A range of different things but let me explain. So Lee's Refinery uses USPS to ship things. They offer free shipping supplies on certain types of boxes, certain types of envelopes, things like that. I don't have those specific boxes out here with me i forgot to grab them we don't always use usps branded boxes it just kind of depends on what the item is what we have on hand etc but i really try and recycle as many boxes as i can our mission as a business is to prioritize and encourage the circulation of existing materials that's at the forefront of everything that we do all the processes that we have everything that we do etc i don't want to get too much into that because that's not the point of the video if i have something recycled something i can reuse things like that i'm going to use that first if it's gonna affect the integrity of the item in the order then i'll use something else but if it'll fit comfortably travel safely if it's gonna get to the customer intact then i will definitely use a recycled box recycled materials whatever there's some more down here i have this shoe box we have a bunch of shoes that have not been listed yet so this is just a shoe box i'm gonna reuse for whatever pair of shoes that don't already have a box so some other resources that i have access to that are free slash low cost to me are different craft supplies and this ranges so i recently picked up a glue gun different types of paper, different types of markers and pens, pencils, crayons, colored pencils, things like that, and different donated goods that my family has been bringing to me. If you watched our sourcing uh, video, I did mention we have certain donated goods that are donated directly to Lee's Refinery. We do not accept donations from the general public at this time. And then just the things that scatter the internet, different free courses, YouTube University, government websites. It continues to help me now, but especially when I was first getting started started and that was a lot in itself but those are just some of the free slash low cost resources that have helped tremendously in me trying to navigate this small business stuff so number four essential is the last intangible item that is on the list but number four is my team i have mentioned kind of the structure of lee's refinery before but if you are new to the channel, if this is your first video of ours, I am the owner and operator of Lisa Refinery. But when it comes to certain aspects of the business, I do have help as of right now. So moving really big, heavy things that I can't get by myself. I get their assistance when I have physical events, transportation, transporting the inventory and things like that. Because the bulk of the inventory is in a 16 foot enclosed trailer. I have limited experience driving that, so I need an experienced driver to get my inventory from one place to another to get my racks out because my racks are custom built they're huge they don't break down they can't fit in my car they have to stay in that trailer that I really have no other way to transport them and then just simply offering guidance to me their uh, advice their feedback on certain things stuff like that so in reference to this list I'm referring to the people that I just talked about the people that help me with those things but also my ancestors living and past that continue to inspire me, that continue to empower me to do something great. In the best way possible, I'm not being original. But when it comes to my family, this is nothing new. And that inspires me. Living past my ancestors, that's my team. So number five is ring lights and tripods. Tripods are usually used to stabilize and hold cameras so you don't have to and ring lights are a particular type of lighting system typically used in videography, photography, cosmetic services, things like that. This ring light is a mini version of the ring light I'm using now. They all look like a ring light. These are separate gadgets, separate items. You don't have to use a tripod and a ring light together, but nine times out of 10, when I whip out the tripod, the ring light is being whipped out with it 
and vice versa. A big part of running an e-commerce store and e-commerce is basically when you're buying and selling something online are product pictures. So if you have a bad product picture, that could result in the lack of or the loss of a sale. Having good lighting is a very big part of getting uh, crisp images, crisp footage, things like that. That's why I use a ring light when I'm filming. It's not everything, but it's a big part of it. I forget, I do use my tripod a good portion. Most of the time I'm holding the camera in my hand, but I do use the tripod a good portion when I'm taking product pictures. But when it comes to filming videos, whether that's for YouTube, behind the scenes footage, real videos for Instagram, any of that, I use the tripod and the ring light together most of the time. So those were five things my small business cannot live without. There's definitely more, but these were the first set of five that would make sense for a first video. Were you able to guess any of those? Did any of that cross your mind? I feel like my list was pretty unpredictable, but I don't I don't know. I don't know your head. You might have just really got that top on you. So let me know and let me know if there's anything you would like to see from Lee's Refinery specifically on the tube or not. I am interested to hear what you have to say and what you want to see so if you'd like you can follow us on instagram we got a facebook on the way an updated facebook on the way because there is a facebook connected to our website it's just not updated check out our website leesrefinery.com you can check out our ebay go to our link tree link tree slash leesrefinery everything will be in the description and as usual whether you like or not whether you comment or not whether you subscribe or not I appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're doing good. And you will see me soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes. You see all the time that I had to go slide. So many sticks. You go to war with whoever ain't never been by.